for her ability to keep her first rejection secret, she may never have had the courage to pursue her writing career. Anne of Green Gables was finally published in 1908 and introduced the world to the ever optimistic Anne Shirley. As we all know, the book became an immediate success, was translated into dozens of languages, and is still popular today in countries as far away as Poland and Japan. And as for the post office, well, its contribution wasn't for nothing. In the early 70s, when Cavendish needed a new building for its post office, it was decided that it should also commemorate the birthplace of Anne of Green Gables. Since Maud's original home had fallen to ruin long ago, a similar house was moved across the island to Cavendish and set on a site just a short distance from the original homestead. The building was reinforced, a new section added, and the interior was restored to serve as both post office and historical exhibition. A fitting tribute to the post office that helped launch Lucy Maud Montgomery's career as a world-renowned writer and one of Canada's most beloved authors.